Now, un, un, unless you, I mean, unless you peaked in high school, this is like, you, this is craziness. You're making it worse, aren't you? Senator. Are you serious about this rule? I Madam Secretary, we need to address that. Uh, welcome. I want to talk about housing. Um, the last three years, America has been experienced, experiencing inflation. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, in fact, under President Biden, the median price, median price for an existing home is up 28 percent, is it not? I think that there's been rising housing costs for the past decade. And the monthly mortgage payment under President Biden is actually up 141 percent, isn't it? Housing prices have been going up consistently over the past decade. And the mortgage rates under President Biden are up 176 percent, aren't they? I think the Federal Reserve is trying to do something about inflation. And electricity, you need electricity to live in a home. Since President Biden took office, the average electricity prices in our country have gone up 29.4 percent, haven't they? I know that electrical costs and utilities have gone up consistently over the past several years. No, ma'am, that's not true. Seven years before President Biden took office, um, the, the electricity prices only rose 5%. Now he took over, now they're up 29.4%. It takes building materials to build a house, doesn't it? It does. Uh, since President Biden took office, iron and steel are up 28%. Isn't that true? I don't have that number in front of me. Okay. Aluminum is up 7%. Is it not under President Biden? I don't have that either. Okay. Um, HVAC units, an air conditioner for your home, under President Biden, uh, an AC system is up 37%, isn't it? I think the pandemic had something to do with that. And uh, shingles are up 19%, aren't they? Same there. Appliance, household appliances are up 22%, aren't they? Again, I think we had a supply chain issue, and that's reflective in the numbers that you're stating. And electric, well, the, the, uh, the supply chain issues are solved. Ele electric wires up 14%, isn't that correct, Madam Secretary? I don't have that number in front of me, sir. Okay. Now, th this, this inflation in home prices and building materials that I've just talked about, it's man-made, isn't it? And that man's name is Joe Biden, isn't it? Senator, I think that we all experience the complexities of a global pandemic, pan pandemic and the economy is still, in many ways, um, absorbing some of that impact. I think some of the numbers you stated may, may be entirely true. I don't, I don't have it here, but what I do... Oh, they're, they're true, Madam Secretary. Don't take my word for it. Very Ask good. the average American. But it's, and it's one of the reasons why, um, for the past three years, the administration has tried to be responsive to these additional costs. Well, excuse me for interrupting, but I'm like the ch our good chairman, and you need to pay attention to his request, by the way. Mm -hmm. But we've got limited time. This administration hasn't succeeded. Uh, inflation is gutting our middle class like a fish. And, and the reason housing prices are up so high is because of President Biden's inflation. That's why I find it extraordinary to learn that HUD, under your leadership, has issued a new mandate. All new homes financed or insured by the Federal Housing Administration and HUD, which is most homes in America, have now got to follow the 
21, 2021 International Energy Conservation Code Standard. The National Association of Home Builders says that this new standard is going to add $31,000 on top of all of this inflation to the cost of a new home. Now, un un unless you, I mean, unless you peaked in high school, this is like, you, this is craziness. You're making it worse, aren't you? Senator. Are you serious about this rule? I I've been in this industry for many decades, and I will submit to you that some of the housing pressures we see right now is because housing have not, has not been built in almost 20 years. And you're going to encourage uh, home builders to build by adding $31,000 to their costs, and you're going to encourage people to buy by adding $31,000 to the price tag? Have your people at HUD been living in outer space? <laughs> Haven't they seen what's been going on in America what, with what, inflation and home prices? There's two costs to home ownership. One is buying the house and operating. I'm going to allow house. one last exchange. We're into the second minute overtime. And, Sorry. And, and what we know is that, and you refer to the increasing cost of utilities, that with this energy code regulation, we are going to reduce utility costs for low and moderate income families across the country. Do you and believe I, in the and tooth I dispute, fairy? And I dispute the home builders. Do you believe in the Easter cost. Bunny? Senator Kennedy, I'll, I'll allow you the last word. And then Do you believe a, that Jimmy oh. Hoffa died of a natural death? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Senator Kennedy. Ms. Mellon, is your, is your expertise in the area, Mr. Bunn made this distinction, is your expertise in the area of tax avoidance or tax evasion or both? I would say both. I think the lines, uh, there, there are situations where the lines might get blurry, especially on the corporate side. Um, but in, in my... Uh, it's both. It, it's both. In okay. short, it's both. Um, do, do you believe that there are major American corporations that are cheating on their taxes? I think, I, I think yes. There are cases where the transfer pricing regulations are not being followed, and Mr. Curtis's testimony speaks are. to that. Who are they? Who are the five? Name the five American corporations that are the biggest tax cheats. Well, this is this is this is a question for the IRS. It's their job to enforce the laws. So I wouldn't. But I, that's a pretty serious allegation you made there, and I'm I'm just asking you who they are. There are cases pending against a number of companies until they, those cases conclude. I, it, but, you know, but it's who, not. Who do you think they are? You're an expert in this area. I'm just asking you. You talked a lot, and I've read some of your writings about American corporations cheating on their taxes. I'm just asking you who they are. I, I wouldn't use the word cheating. I think that they are uh, taking advantage of the, of the you gray used zone. It in your testimony. I, I, I'm sorry. You used it in your testimony. I'm just. I'm, I'm not trying to trick you. I just want to know you. You have been very uh, vociferous in saying that American companies are cheating. Okay, that's I, America. You're entitled to your opinion, but you're an expert, and just tell me who they are. I stand by that. I think that there is evidence to suggest that some of these companies and the IRS has pursued cases against a number who, of the companies who are they, that. Though? that Mr. Curtis has analyzed, including Apple and Microsoft and a Facebook and Coca-Cola. Is Apple a tax cheat? I, I wouldn't say tax cheat. I think that's putting okay. it too strongly. Well, then, and I didn't use that word. Then who are they? I, 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 would, I wouldn't say tax cheats, but I think they are um, crossing the legal lines that have been set by Congress and by the IRS in the relevant regulations. I'm, I'm, and, I'm and because the IRS is outgunned, I'm they're confused. not able to enforce thought, the law thought, against them. Do, do, let, me, let me start over. Do you believe that there are major American corporations cheating on their taxes? I believe they are coming very close to crossing the line, and it's difficult for IRS that is outgone to enforce the line. Are they crossing the line or not? Well, it's up to the IRS to enforce the line. If I'm they don't have the resources. I'm asking you your opinion. You're an expert. I think there's a good case to be made that, yes, they are crossing so the line. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Who are they? 
that's up to the courts and the IRS to determine. I, I, you, you made this allegation, but you don't want to say who they are? How, how do, I mean, if you, you know who they are, you just don't want to tell us? I think that's 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 been uh, explained by Mr. Curtis in no, his analysis. I'm asking you to explain. You talk about tax cheats. I'm just asking you who they are, and you don't want to tell us. It, it's it's again. I think it's for the IRS to enforce the line, and we need to make sure that the IRS is well, properly. Well, well, do you have a list of these tax sheets? No. Okay. Have you been to the IRS and said? Here are these companies, and they're cheating on their taxes, and I can show you how they're doing it? No, I'm not. That's, that's, that's not a I've, – I've never uh, practiced in that area of law. I'm not a, so a tax whistleblower is, lawyer. All you've done is run around saying American companies are cheating on their taxes. I can't tell you who they are, and I haven't been to the IRS to show my data to the IRS, but I want you to believe me that they're cheating on their taxes. Is that your testimony today? No, Senator, no. The, it sure sounds like it. I, no, I, I, I think that um, the case against some of these companies has been well documented in the public. Which companies? In the, Which companies? In the, Let me in ask you because I'm going to run out of time. Tell me in the last 23 seconds, I hear, here's, your, here's your chance. You believe there are major American corporations cheating on their taxes. You just... You, you just testified to that. I believe you told me yes. Tell me who they are. I think they are the companies that Mr. Curtis d- discussed in his, in his testimony. Tell, tell me who they it are. It includes some of the big tech companies. Who are it the includes five some worst? of the pharma companies who, that are. Who are the five worst? I, I don't have a ranking. I have You're not, not compiled. You don't want to say. I, I just I haven't looked into that. You, you understand it makes it hard to believe your allegations if you won't tell us who they are. Talks cheap. You ever heard that expression? Thank you, Mr. Chairman.